Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, I want to take a quick second to let you guys know that right now is the best possible time for you to be farming ranky XP and ranking up on global. And there may never be a better time in the future to do this because not only are we currently on four times rank EXP for the story mode, but we also, because of the LR Vegito Blue campaign, are getting all the stamina costs for story stages cut by half. So if you go into the highest available story stage right now, which is 27, and then go to level 3, and the highest difficulty, which is super, only costs 11 stamina versus the usual 23, right? So when you run that, you can bring whatever team you want. I'm going to go with... Uh, I guess Future Saga, and obviously you can bring whatever team you want, most mono teams will work because the enemy really isn't that bad. The Piccolo only has about, I think, a million HP or something like that, so most teams should be able to clear it. And uh, if you run into a peel-off right here, you can also get some extra incredible gems. The launch will give you 15, this guy gives you 10, so it's going to take a little bit longer if you are fighting peel-off, which... I always do because incredible gems are pretty important but if you completely you know decide to ignore them this stage should only take you about maybe a minute minute and a half at the most and as far as the rank exp goes without any boosts you're getting 27,600 exp but if you multiply that by four that is about 110,000 exp per run and like i said it only takes about a minute right so it's just a really, really good way to rank up, especially for people who are in the lower ranks, like let's say you're rank 200, rank 300, and you want to complete some of those missions for ranking up, I believe you can get a total of about 120 stones between rank 300 to 500, right? So for those of you that are trying to save up as much as possible for the... Um, you know, LR Gogeta Blue and LR Vegito Blue for the five year anniversary or the upcoming Transforming Cooler or something like that. That's a good way to get some extra stones. But either way, people just like to be higher ranks because it kind of shows that like you've been playing this game for a long time, right? At least to me, like I like being over rank 500 because it shows people like, yo, I've been doing this for a while, right? So if you guys are looking to rank up right now, on global is the best time possible. And like I said, there might never be a better time to do this because we have the four times EXP, but we also have the half stamina, which I think has never happened before except for the Vegito Blue campaign, which of course happened on JP before, but uh, never on global until this campaign. Uh, does it say how much we got actually? Okay, so it doesn't look like it says the exact number um, of EXP, the amount of EXP that we got for the run, but I did the calculations and it is about 100 and 10,000 per run. Obviously, if you do the boost, it still only costs 22 stamina, and you're getting 220,000 for that run. And if you get good rolls, let's say you get like some fours and fives and sixes, that right there. So yeah, if you get some good rolls here, it shouldn't really take that long. Like I've done this in less than a minute, and as long as you have a team with some units that like can one shot the Piccolo, um, it's a really really fast grind. And I think even at I think even at this rank, at 549, I can probably rank up like with a full bar of stamina. Like without having to use any stones, I can go from 0 EXP to ranking up um, in one stamina bar. I'm not 100% sure about that, but because it's only 50% of the regular cost and 4 times EXP, I think it's actually possible. I gotta do the math on that one. I think it is possible. I think it is possible. Either way though, Definitely make sure to farm your ranks, guys. All right, this is the best possible time to do it. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to, you know, rank up this fast in the future because even if we have like four times the XP, even if we have five times the XP, um, if we don't have the 50% reduction in the stamina cost, then you'll have to wait for your stamina to like refresh or use a stone to refresh, which obviously you don't want to do. You don't want to be spending stones on farming rank EXP, right? So get it done, guys. This is the best possible time to do it. And that's pretty much the video. There you go. It took about a minute and six, or a minute and 0.6 seconds. We got some incredible gems. If you run into peel off and launch, like I said, you can get some extra gems. So it's also good for that. The stage that I recommend is the final stage, 27-3. And of course, the highest difficulty. Uh, other people have said that other stages are better, but I like this one. It's really fast and also, um, 
it's just really easy. So that's it, guys. That's going to do it for the video. Happy rank farming. Oh, and do keep in mind that this whole thing ends at the end of the month. Actually, I think it goes away on March 1st, both the boosted rank EXP and also the reduced stamina. So definitely take advantage of it as soon as possible. For me personally, I'm probably going to try my best to get to rank 600 before it's over. Um, we'll see how it goes, but I do want to just use that to flex on people, so uh, I'm going to try my best. Anyways, <laughs> that's going to do it for this video. That's all I got to say. As always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.